Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion continue on personal growth part two. Personal growth part two. I want to read from Proverbs 2 and verse 6. Follow me if you may. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. For the Lord gives wisdom. You know, personal growth involves four things. I want you to take note of this. If you want to grow spiritually, to be a better person, to be a more godly person, to be able to serve better, to be able to walk more better with the Lord, you need to observe four things. One, environment. You must place yourself in a setting that fosters growth. Certain fish grow according to the size of their surrounding or environment. If you keep them in a small tank, they stay small. But when you release them into the ocean, they grow to their intended size. The same principle applies to you. You must spend your time with the right thing, with the right group of people, with the right environment. People who are more positive, more energized, more uh, enthusiastic, people who are more godly, people who are more committed, then you will grow. It fosters growth, it encourages you to grow, it pushes you to grow. To grow. Uh, why? Because it challenges you to grow and you see their testimony of growth as well. Amen? Number two, strength. First is environment. Second is strength. Author and leadership expert Peter Drucker said, the great mystery isn't the people, isn't that people do things badly, but that they occasionally do a few things well. The only things that's universal is incompetence. Strength is always specific. What am I trying to say to you is this. When you try to be good at everything, you end up being good at nothing. One more time. That's the, 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 the principle here is this. When you try to be good at everything, you, are, you end up being good at nothing. That's why you must focus and work on your strength. God gave you specific strengths. Identify them and use them. One more time. God gave you specific strength or talent, ability, uh, 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 capability to do certain things in life. Once you identify them in your life and use them, you grow. You you mature, you become better, you improve tremendously. The third thing is this, change. Change. Most of us want things to get better without having to change anything. The Bible says in Hebrews 6 verse 1, let us be taken forward to maturity. Let us be taken forward to maturity. To grow, you must commit yourself to not only accepting change but pursue change one more time to grow you must commit yourself to not only accepting change but to pursue change why in every part of our life you must change for the better you know that's why evaluation is very important you have to learn to evaluate evaluate your life every evening before you go to bed for what you have been through and what you face and how you have handle yourself and walk through the day. Secondly, once every week, once every seven days, summarize everything through the whole week and find how much you have progressed and how much you have set back in your life. Change. Don't just accept, but pursue changes in your life. Amen? Number four, enjoyment. Enjoyment. Most grand masters or grandmasters of chess learn and relearn their moves over a period 12 to 15 years before winning their first world title. That's almost one-fifth of their lives. If you're going to spend that much time doing something, 
you would better enjoy what you are doing. If you don't enjoy what you're doing and if you drag what you're doing, you know what happened? It will make it very stressful to do what you're doing, to live what, how you're living and to go where you are going and walk where you are walking right now. If the destination appeals to you but you are not enjoying the journey, you will be wise to seek God's guidance people's advice and make sure you are heading the right direction and doing the same thing and enjoying the same thing in your life if you don't enjoy the thing you're doing today you better do something about it because you know what it will be dreadful everything we do in life you must enjoy doing it especially in doing good amen so remember this thing if you're on the wrong train don't keep going remember if you're going you're on the wrong train, don't keep going. Get off at the next station and take the right train to continue your journey forward. And then you find fulfillment. And then the fulfillment, you know, will energize, empower growth in your life. Remember this thing, personal growth part two is this. There are four, personal growth involves four things. Environment, strength, change, and enjoyment amen let's pray father we pray to you help us to learn to grow Let help us to learn uh, see the need the four things we need to always constantly remember environment strength change and enjoyment and we pray that you help us to walk joyfully with you and enjoy every bit of the moment that we walk with you serve you and follow you and love you all this we pray. Bless us with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.